Organ donation turns a fatal road rage incident into new life for seven people. Good evening, I'm Laura Morich. A HCA Midwest honors Christopher Hudson Jr. tonight for choosing organ donation. KMC 9's Brian Johnson reports on the lives he's saved and how it has helped his family. He was loving and caring and kind. This florograph, made out of organic material, captures the vitality 19-year-old Christopher Hudson Jr. was known for. He was a ball of energy. He was a loving, kind, funny person. Uh, he could get along with his, any age. Next week, the Hudson family. At Research Medical Center Monday, Hudson was honored for saving seven lives through organ donation. The fact that I can still hear that heartbeat. Uh, my brother's heartbeat was strong. The fact that I can still hear and they're still beating in this world, making a sound in this world, that's like, he's still here. In May 2017, Hudson was the victim of a road rage incident. A driver shot him in the head. His car stopped near 104th and Holmes. To die just driving down the street doing something as simple as that, um, it, it's, it's very senseless. He'd signed up to be an organ donor only four months earlier. His heart went to Gary Dixon from Independence. Well, I'm part of Chris Hudson's ripple effect. And this is part of his ripple effect. It's basically honoring him and his gift and his donation. Hudson's gift will be honored at this year's Rose Parade. Make sure you're signing your driver's license. Make sure you are an organ donor. His family also started a nonprofit, Breath in Me, Life in You, teaching young adults about conflict resolution. They want others to be forces for good in the world, like Hudson. <laughs> in Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. The Rose Parade in Pasadena, California is New Year's Day. Hudson's image will be on the Donate Life float. His family will be there in person. The independence man responsible for Hudson's death was sentenced to 24 years in prison for involuntary manslaughter and other crimes.